for the people online who didn't hear me 10 seconds ago, thank you everyone for coming. Um, my name's Sam Banks. I'm the director of our Research Institute for Environment and Livelihoods at CDU here in Darwin. So, so welcome to CDU and welcome to Darwin. Um, before I start, I should also say thank you that as always in Darwin, we're on the lands of the Larrakia people who are traditional owners of this area. So we need to acknowledge them as traditional owners and pay our respects to their elders. Um, so I do that. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm the director of our Research Institute for Environment and Livelihoods. We are the, the, the institute within CDU that supports our environmental research. I think, Natasha, you gave a bit of background to that. Not yet. Not yet? Okay, all right. Well, I won't steal your thunder. I did mean to meet you all on Tuesday at the, the start of the, the workshop that you're doing, but I had to, had to do one of those parent doctor appointments with my child who was unwell. Um, so, so we do a lot of research broadly around environment and environment-based livelihoods, work on water, biodiversity and conservation, lots of research on tropical savannas and arid zones and communities and, and environment-based livelihoods. Most of our work is in Northern Australia, but we also do some work in really interesting places like Timor Leste, Indonesia, and other places like that. And that's really led by a number of individuals here, like Natasha, Stacy, Penny Vern, Karen, it's nice to have you here as well, of course. And, and, and Ben Brown, who's of course a Cassio as well. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Ben Brown, who's sort of split between here and the Australian Institute of Marine Sciences. So um, so that's a really important part of our work and one that we're always always trying to trying to grow here at CDU. I did have the um the pleasure of going over to Dili earlier this year with our, our vice chancellor, who's the equivalent of, of the rector for CDU. We got to meet um, staff at UNTL, a few government departments in Dili. So it was really nice to talk with them about more opportunities for collaboration between CDU and organizations in Timor-Leste. So um, that was a nice thing to do at the high level, but realistically it's this kind of workshop and the collaboration that you're doing with Jenny and others that's really meaningful and, and what matters to us. So um, thank you very much for making the effort to come over here and spend the week with us. And, and special thanks to Jenny too. Like these things actually mean a lot for the organization and it takes a lot of effort and a lot of initiative for people to actually step up and do them for us. So it's very appreciated. So there you go. Anyway, as I said, welcome to CDU and um, I'm really glad to be here today. Thank you very much. Um, just before I hand over to the Blue Ventures team, I just wanted to give a really short introduction um, to some of the people here from CDU and, um, and other people who are with us online um, about how uh, Blue Ventures and CDU fit together, just for a bit of context of why are we all here and um, uh, how did we get to this point? So some of you know me already. I'm a PhD candidate. Natasha Stacey is my supervisor, so I'm part of Real um, as well. And I've been working with Blue Ventures in Timor-Leste for almost six years. Um, and uh, that's almost as long as Blue Ventures has been in Timor-Leste. It, it was there for maybe uh, a year or two before I joined and some of the team who are here uh, today have been there almost the whole time. Um, and so as an organization, they do a lot of really valuable work on marine management and coastal livelihoods and conservation. And personally, I think that they have a lot of experience that we can learn from here in the Australian context. And that's really relevant, especially in the top end uh, for how we approach land and sea country management um, with communities and uh, with other groups. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to organize this exchange. Um, Lots of Blue Ventures staff are collaborating with me on my PhD research on <coughs> fisheries monitoring and management in Timor-Leste. So I'm very lucky to work with these people every day. Um, but I wanted to create this opportunity because I think that in this university and in Australia in general, we can learn a lot from what they have to say and from their experience. And often uh, at a university, we're used to going and telling other people about what we do, but we don't always have a lot of the other way around. And so um, I'm really grateful to you all for being here um, to participate in this so that we can make this trip um, an exchange. So you can hear from them what they're about. And um, I really encourage you to um, make notes of specific people and reach out to them afterwards if you've got questions or you want to chat about specific areas. 
Um, you'll hear later that there's a lot of different topics um, that are going to be brought up. There's a lot of people here you can see, and they all have their own areas of interest. So I just really encourage you to reach out to them afterwards, have a chat. If you're here in person, we have a bit of time um, to do that afterwards informally um, and answer some questions as well. Um, and then uh, this afternoon, um, I'm really pleased to say that we have the other direction of the exchange. So we have a few different researchers um, presenting to them about their works and relevant projects that are happening at Real. And um, yeah, the team have already met and heard from several other people um, during the week. It's been very busy. Um, so I just want to thank everyone who's given their time or is going to give their time to participate in this knowledge exchange. And um, I hope that you'll hear something useful in this seminar. I'm sure you will. Um, I'd... Oh, oh, and in particular, I just like to um, uh, extend my respect to um, Ronaldo de Rosario, I think that's correct, um, who's here as a representative of the Timorese Consulate uh, in Darwin. Uh, so he's joined us online. Sorry, I can't see you on the screen, so I didn't realize you were here. Um, but uh, he's also here listening, and I'm just really um, pleased to pleased that we can have that connection. I'm being mouthed other names at me. Oh yeah, and in particular, I'd like to say thank you as well to um, the Crawford Fund. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Um, so I think Tanya has joined us online um, and maybe we have some other members from the Crawford Fund um, attending. Um, so yeah, from myself and from the team, we just want to thank you um, for funding this whole, this whole thing. Uh, we're really, really grateful. I'd also like to introduce uh, Jacinta, uh, who's hiding there. <laughs> she is a CDU student. Um, and she'll just be um, providing some assistance in terms of uh, interpreting and translation support uh, for this seminar. And she's been with us all week and she's been amazing. So now I'd like to welcome um, some representatives from um, Blue Ventures. Uh, they'll be speaking on behalf of the whole group um, for this seminar. Um, so I'll hand over to you now. So if you'll join me in welcoming Blue Ventures. Are you starting? Yeah. Okay. So, um, hello, hi everybody. Good afternoon. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying their food. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of an introduction and then I'm gonna hand it over to Mongedi, who's gonna talk more in details about our programs in Timor. Um, <laughs> the slides? Yeah, um, I, I can stand right there. Yeah. Stand over here. Cool. I'm just going to turn some lights off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so my name is Janicia. Um, I'm the communications coordinator, but um, I'm, I'm not really the science person, but um, I'll try to help um, uh, do uh, a little bit of introduction to um, Blue Ventures. Um, so for our 2025 stra strategy, we're focusing on thriving fishers and thriving oceans, <clears throat> um, which in Tetong we say haburas, that's supposed to say pescador, which is fishers, um, and haburas tasi. Um. <laughs> I need this. Okay, so um, who are we? We help uh, coastal communities rebuild fisheries and protect ocean. And also optimizing fishing for nature, communities and um, food. Um, the history of Blue Ventures, we, uh, we're based in the UK. Uh, we started in Madagascar um, about 20 years ago. And um, now we are, <clears throat> We have expanded more uh, in Africa and now in Asia and Timor-Leste is the only Blue Ventures office um, in, yeah, in Asia. Did I say that right? Yeah. 
I think so. Um, okay, so what is our vision with Thriving Fishes and Thriving Oceans? Um, this is in Tetum, but um, in English, we envision a world where uh, traditional fishers um, who we um, uh, consider as the guardians of our oceans to, <clears throat> uh, to no longer be hungry, to um, uh, overcome poverty and uh, also um, get, um, receive good livelihoods from our oceans. And um, yeah, that's a little bit of who we are as Blue Ventures. And I think I'm gonna pass on to uh, my colleague, Teddy, who's gonna go more in depth of what we do in Timor Leste. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, boa tarde or good afternoon, everyone. So, um, yeah, as a uh, Mana Jenny and Mana Genesia, we always mention Mana or Maun to the people that we respect. This is like Mana is sister and also Maun is brother, but it's more like to people that we respect, even something a young, young people, but we, if you respect, we say, oh, mana, hi. This is that uh, cultural work in, a, in a, our work. So um, today I will uh, explain about our um, focus on that, uh, the activity, that program that we focus on Timor-Leste. But to help me explain more the ideas clearly, I will use um, Teton. So mana Jenny and mana, uh, mana Jacinta will help me. Uh, so yeah. Um, okay, so here, 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 um, want to tell you about my focus, but so there is uh, here told you so either I'm gonna be secure tenure, no connect coastal community, and the second, my colleague, gonna be community based fisheries, no either phone, maybe I'm hello, my gonna be blue carbon management, this is something new, maybe I'm keep a gora cocoa to hello. Nebe support a Husi participatory fisheries monitoring group. And uh, the last one, Nema Konba, fisheries uh, livelihood. Um, yeah. I got it to Belhare, Hene. Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mana. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, as you can see from the slide, um, uh, Mom Daddy is just explaining the three areas that are the current uh, main focus for Blue Ventures. Um, the first is um, to secure uh, tenure and um, fishing rights and connect with local communities. The second is to conduct community-based fisheries and blue carbon management, which is supported through various ecological monitoring and participatory fisheries management programs. And finally, fisher livelihoods. Great. Um... So here is a team. I think some of uh, us here already have been to Timor. So this is Timor, you can, you can see here. And this one is uh, the island, Atauru Island. We call it Atauru Island. And yeah, so we, first here, you can see this is the map that um, we work on with uh, the program and also with the community uh, we work with. So here we can see this is reef check and also seagrass here. and. Now we came here uh, in a uh, mainland, more focus on um, from Dili to Manatutu. So there is a, it's, it's similar, uh, like uh, some, some activity we, we doing at similar right now in, uh, in Aturu. So, so here um, in Dili, we work with the community, like Comunidad de Sire Hera, uh, and also um, Betotasi. But in Manatutu, we work with the um, community, we have Fatumeta and then Lidung to do the, the monitoring, the activity, the three, three main focus that uh, I just uh, mentioned. So we can see here, this is we put on the orange one, it's uh, something new, uh, the blue carbon side that we're trying to like uh, focus. And also this is, we want to work with um, the, the, we call like the local NGO in Timor Leste, um, KFF. Uh, conserve some flora and fauna. Yeah. Okay. That was all in English. Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, right. okay, I mean, so. okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, as uh, we, I mentioned, the three uh, focus that we work in Timor Leste. So, in the name of Primero, kind of a secure tenant, how connect coastal community and secure tenant in the name of Blue Ventures Hollow, how to like. Uh, we work, uh, we start to hallow community, 
sirih di reitu ba rekursi nebe sirih ha eh rekursi nebe so luben sur hane sang eh organisang nebe servis sulih ha marin eh antang ami on sa servis lori ha motu komunidade sira tu mai nomo satu liga sira ba ho estado tamba tu ire ha dekretu lei ba lo isi ami ni governo komunidade di reitu atu maneja sira ni rekursi rasi so ami ni servis ma tu garanti kata sira Iha direi tu duni ba tu maneja sia nia rekursu. No konek kosel komuniti. Antang ami servis ma motu komunidade sia re iha ata uru. Kondu ami halo aktividade sia hane sang pilotu ida. Ma be depois am here nia beneficio. Ami lori esperensa nia be ma komunidade dene hetang. Ho difal bo komunidade sia luka tu. Aprende no halo tuir sia nia kontekstu. So ida nia ma kan halo. Hasa ita bel hare hane. Iha ima zeng ida nia <hesitation> husi <hesitation> Fisheries Forum, National Fisheries Forum, ni be bring all of women iha Timor Leste, coastal community sih ramai tur hamu tu foster ni dia, cause in every coastal community they have their own experience and culture ni be lah nesang, so how like should put together sih ni idea tu atuh tentang ida secure nasane, so. Okay, ni baru kiri kiri. So um. Yeah, so um, the way that Blue Ventures approaches um, tenure is um, it's about securing their rights uh, to manage communities' rights to manage their land and um, marine resources. So Blue Ventures focuses on coastal management. So we mostly focus on um, marine um, rights to manage marine resources and fisheries. Um, in Timor Leste, communities already have, according to the law, they have the right to manage their res uh, re resources locally. Um, but where Blue Ventures can come in is to support them in doing that, to ensure that they really are able to um, to exercise this right, which is enshrined in law, um, but also to um, support them with the, the technical aspects to support them with um, implementing that management and part of that is connecting coastal um, communities to each other so um, you would have heard uh, Daddy was explaining about the um, national fisheries forum that brought women from fishing communities all around the country together to exchange ideas um, and to talk about what they thought should go into the national fisheries strategy so those are some representatives from one of our programs and um, Blue Ventures does this in a variety of ways, bringing coastal communities together to exchange experiences and knowledge um, about how they can um, exercise these rights to manage their resources and then how can they do that. And they also invite me to add to that. They also have done this secure gender and connect coastal communities in, a, in an island called Atauru. It's part of Dili municipality, but now it's going to be an independent municipality. Uh, they've done a pilot there and now they're expanding. They've taken the models and expanding to other municipality, other district as well. Great. Okay. <laughs> Here is um, uh, science conservation, uh, conservation uh, science. Uh, so, um, yeah. So we have conservation uh, uh, Sensor, sensor conservation union. I'm hello, maka LMMA. Entang service kamu tu ko komunidade sira atau tulun sira atau insa tambah soalnya aku lihat kena balai ni bersirah tentera ya direktur ni bersirah tentang babe kau nak sirah ni direktur atau manager sirah ni rekursu. Entang ida nama kami holy. I'm lori ida ida nama service kamu tu ko sirah para sirah rasik menjer. Entang support sirah insa tambah kita bela hari hendak kami dengan Tarabandu. Tarabandu is um. I mean, yeah, local uh, Timor Timor is um, traditional uh, law. Maybe I'm hello. So, uja local uh, marine management. Maybe mak uh, idea. Maybe mak uh, husi uh, blue vetting service. And to contribute, to lunch here to just system at Tarabandu. Ne, holy hello. Manage certain resources. So, here ne. Um, Hang on. Can, yeah. can we use smaller? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, you can see here that uh, Blue Ventures uses locally managed marine areas as one, one tool to um, assist the community with managing their natural resources. Um, one approach that they use in Timor Leste is Tarabandu, which is um, a, a cultural uh, governance mechanism for managing natural resources in Timor Leste. Um, so, in this case, um, Blue Ventures 
provide support and might support the community to consider this as an option for management. But then the role of Blue Ventures is to facilitate that process and support the community to manage the resource themselves. So it's really a partnership um, between Blue Ventures and, and the community. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, like, I govern how much the community is here, how much the development is here, how much the rasic is here, and about flexible for the people to see, uh, Bele Uja, how many here, as a semana, Lorong here, Libami, ba visita here, uh, Pesca, Colia Conaba, specific, uh, uh, species in a base here, my net said, but. Yeah, service in Rami Halo. I mean, whole thing. I mean, fees, reef, uh, <laughs> everything. But uh, I mean, uh, it's depend on the community in the design. At the city, the city, it never makes pretty or dali basira. So, I mean, ladung be specific at the type. Here, Timor, Mayoria, Tarabando Sirane, La Mayoria focused it by all type of fees, Sirane, Snapper or Fisile or Seda, Sira, but how to never make Sira. Yeah, Hanesang. For, uh, yeah, so. yeah, so in um, the Tarabandu process, um, it's a flexible system, so it doesn't have um, one specific objective. Um, Blue Ventures works together with communities and government and other stakeholders to decide um, to design um, case by case management um, initiatives together with communities. And um, Dad was explaining that this week we went to visit NT Fisheries and we saw species specific management approaches. That's not really something that happens in the same way in Timor Leste or with Blue Ventures. So, um, yeah, Dad is just explaining that instead of targeting specific species with this management, typic you could do that, but typically um, the way this is applied is by taking a holistic approach, an ecosystem based approach, and um, it's often used for spatial management, including the entire um, habitat, like the reef and the different species, rather than targeting specific um, specific animals, specific species. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the second one is um, community-based fisheries and uh, blue carbon management. Um, I just go through. So the first one is um, community-based fisheries monitoring group. Nebe mak sirane or woman uh, for the five community that we work with. Atauru um, in Dili, Behau, or Dili, Betotasi, um, Behau, and Maabat. So, yeah, sira voluntario. And idea ne, idea ne ahu wain hira manajeni. He's the one, she's the one that um, hodi idea ne maya to uh, implement here Atauru. Um, so, I'm a who who volunteer in Walu, collector. Maybe I'm here to give benefits to the tool by here as well. Include on a management to say, Tamba Amirona information bar, which pescador sira con a basir near sira circular than him would answer bar. Yeah, dear, call a dear, said, Oh, look, I mean, yeah, I'm your temple, I'm a sick, you can bar across an enemy. I got it in Lahaya. And then maybe store any snared collier that lay here, that is concrete that we have. And then he did any more super at Atu asegura informasi untuk nenek ia gra ia dadus para tu lorong ini apresent kalau bersila ini macam informasi yang ia and then the next ia makar halus ada ho ia punya informasi untuk nenek ia so so the community based fisheries monitoring group um, it's a women's fisheries monitoring program it now exists in five different communities um, uh, on the the map that you saw earlier um, the program started in 2018 um, in Atauro so um, Daddy said it was my idea, but I didn't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and um, uh, we started with the pilot at that time. And since then it's grown to five communities. So the reason um, why we established this program was primarily, uh, the first objective was to do with um, collecting the data that's needed for marine management. As Daddy explained, marine management is on a local level. So communities need appropriate monitoring um, data that is at that same scale. And um, he explained that um, at that time, the kind of monitoring that they had was observations from the local community. So fishers um, knew about changes that were happening and they might say, oh, when I was young, we had a lot more fish, the fish were bigger. Now we don't have that. 
Um, and so they would notice changes like that. Um, but we only had stories. And um, in terms of informing management and working with government and doing the work that needs to be done in the marine management space, um, the community um, felt that wasn't enough um, just to have the stories, but that they also wanted the data to go with that. And the second one is... Um... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, no objective is to go to Konaba Fiatan Yaparsipa Sound. How many Mana Karen, Bahi Aturu, Bahi Timor, or Mount Sirabal Hane, Bana, Atu, and Aba? I had Timor, Ami, Ami, Ama, Ami, Po, Ami, Soru Hela, Ami, people like Hasoru Hela, Sita Sang with Aka, Feto, Sahane Sang, Emanabe, Vulnerable, we have Sita Sang, Sirasne. I mean, Sira. It is down sira sna tamba ami ami komuni dare barakliu mane domina liu foti de zaun sira foti de zaun sira hane sang atu hala management ruma e mahalo encontro ruma sempre baliu ya punya kolie kono mas sira sai ditima ba ya sera beserne ah então cada encontro de zaun sira sempre he ma high level people i mean sempre suku sira lianain e ma serne então, a ideia de suporte será além de ser contribuir para dados a fonte de alimentação, mas será a participação e a fistres, né? Fistres management, né? Começamento. Então, a rua será, né? Começa a criar na consideração o si atura local, comunidade também será será uma demanda de expert coleta dados será. So, in every agora ba e serviço comunidade na verdade a mim serviço ba, bluven serviço ba. Começa e a Komunitas komen sebab lori jika suruh na grup pun ini nya presensa, ia encounter rumah. Tang sih konsideran. Tang husi ne, fiatu sih ne persipas sang ia, ia fisheries management ne komen sa as. I mean, ya. Entang kita ne signifikan kita empower sih ratu bela Amerik no berani at kolia. Ia, ya. This is our rumah. So, I think a lot. No, thank you. So, uh, women's participation in decision making is the second objective of this monitoring program. The reason why um, Blue Ventures decided to focus on this is because um, Daddy was asking maybe those of you who visited Timor Leste might have seen this for yourselves that um, it tends to be the case that men dominate decision making processes. Uh, Daddy didn't say this, but I think we can say that that's also the case in many other, other countries as well. Um, but um, because men dominate um, decision-making processes about natural resources um, and other things, it can make women a vulnerable group in society. And so Blue Ventures wanted to use um, this data monitoring, uh, catch monitoring program as a way to um, create an entry point to participate in fisheries management um, programs. And so um, because in the past they found that marine management was dominated by the people who were in these positions of authority. So Daddy mentioned um, the Chef Yusuko, which is like the village chief, um, and also cultural leaders um, and other, other people who often tend to be men. Um, they were dominating a lot of the decision making. So by creating the monitoring program, it means that this group of women now become experts in the fisheries and they have a unique perspective that is needed in the marine management conservation, marine management conversation. And um, also through this process, not only do they provide valuable data that people need, and so people want to listen to it, but also through that um, skill development process, the group members became more confident and it empowered them to start standing up and speaking about these topics in their community and having more of a voice in uh, management meetings and uh, discussions. Yeah. Great. Okay, here is the second one. Um, oh. Yeah, ecological monitoring, I think. Uh, so here's the second one is um, uh, reef monitoring. This is that uh, now, uh, I think after we going back to Timor, after uh, uh, next week, and then we will go into the do the survey. Um, so here, we look activate here, we volunteer here, we see right here, hello, I'm in Bolu Expedition, maybe hours in Laia, the post the causes COVID, and then I'm in the Muda, I'm in the service here. Maybe agora, I'm in my home, Reef monitoring nabe amihalo, ho volontar Timor Wansira, antam blue venture for trenamento babe Timor Wansira nabe makia hakarak no iha bontade hakarak 
halo kita di sini. So, aku ada rawat si Ramak pronto, no si Ramu untuk emang neng neng, ho staff neng hati Hebel Ventures, Ramu untuk emang neng seluruh mak si halo survei dan. So the next monitoring program is a coral reef monitoring program. In the past, this was run by international volunteers, um, and we used to call it an expedition program. But um, due to COVID, um, the and the situation with international tourism, um, we're no longer running uh, an international expedition to do coral reef monitoring. However, monitoring continues with a Timorese cohort of uh, reef check um, uh, coral reef monitors. Um, and actually, um, Armindo there is running. <laughs> He's the, in charge of that one. And um, yeah, Daddy was just explaining that that group is now um, 10 people all together, including four staff members from Blue Ventures. This training has involved learning to scuba dive. And then on top of that, learning scientific diving skills, how to do a coral reef survey. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was thinking that I would introduce my, my, Marmindu. So Marmindu, he is uh, the one that uh, lead the, this, this program, this activity. And yeah, so after this, I think we just talk a summary, but you will have a catch up with him directly. So there's a lot. And also Mango Jaya Um Yeah, the next one is um, seagrass monitoring. Seagrass monitoring is, um, I think before we do the uh, seagrass monitoring, we have Atauru, Anang Manazeni, Homana Mimas, Singarom Halo Service Sirene, Ho Voluntario Sirihe Aturu, Nemos Voluntario. But the boys, um, Hanoing tambah ekipa, antam ekipa tinggi halus servis juga alu ke. Hanoing depois para tama ni orang jenah tendi ni razam. Depois agor ada dauk ne, belum bencer hahu fali atau nukli fali servis ni. So, ya, hanoing September agor ame sih hahu ana halo servis juga dia hera. Hamu tu kau KFF para tu bela servis juga sigras ni. Nabe relation hanoing kuliah kena ba blue carbon. The next monitoring program is the seagrass monitoring. Um, this picture has Mima, and in the past, Mima used to run the seagrass monitoring together with me and the international volunteers um, that used to come. Um, so we had a community-based seagrass monitoring group at that time, and then we stopped it for a while um, due to various reasons. And now we're in the process of getting the seagrass monitoring back up and running um, in September, yeah, this month. And um, that's gonna be in um, a community called Hera together with a local <coughs> Timorese organization called, called KFF, um, which Daddy mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah, um, this is, um... Ne follow ba sigras niya. Apart from like ah, kami kriya voluntary siya servisyo iya aturo, but kami servisyo mo tu kamo sa uenteli atu halaman pamento ba sigras. Iya pro iya aktibaras ne kolye kon ba dugon mabe atu identifika sigras iya sites na ba maga kami servisyo ba. So yeah. Uh, I also forgot to mention earlier, uh, Daddy also said about um, one of the reasons why the seagrass monitoring is starting up again is because of a blue carbon project, um, which also involves mangroves. He'll explain more about that later. Um, the next slide was about the UNTL students um, who have done some seagrass uh, mapping um, research together with the team. Um, they used this questionnaire um, to map seagrass habitat as well as dugong populations in several communities um, to map the, the general area of seagrass. Yeah. Yeah, and my day is my first livelihood. I am going to go to the house and I am going to go to the house. Yeah. So the, the third area is the fish livelihoods. Um, alternative livelihoods. If any of you have been to Atura, you might have encountered the Atura Homestay Association. You can all go there on holidays. Yeah, and Idane is a livelihood in Mana Ana Tercia, ni Maklid, Hoa ni Ekipa. So, or si di hai tempo bele husu, ya bot bara kana ba, ni halos. Mana Tercia and her team are the ones who are leading these livelihood activities. So if you have any questions about this, you can talk to them after. Yeah, no, I love the hood. Yes, you do not rara a traditional rara means um, hahan food, uh, traditional food, uh, rara ne who see the traditional aturunian. So, yeah, 
Rara is a traditional, um, it means traditional food. It's a word from a local language in Absaoro. Um, that, yeah, it means food, and that's the name of um, this uh, food preparation group. Yeah, so, yeah, idea is that I'm going to have a moment to spend the time with you. I'm going to have a moment to spend the time with you. I'm going to have a moment to spend the time with you. Dan dalam servis sama tu grup ini, atau ribet volunteer serba perende buat rumah masih atau rumah masih serteng ser halo halo popcorn huja rehenek like even how I'm team around but this is something new for me like oh oh my god so this this group started um, during the expedition time because they would always bring um, they would always bring tourists um, to uh, visit Bikeli which is uh, Mima and Osiris's uh, home hometown, home village, and they, um, when the tourists would go there, the group actually um, explained to them about different traditional food preparation methods, and Daddy mentioned one that really surprised him when he went there, even though he's Timorese, he'd never seen it before, was making popcorn using sand, um, and you actually put the corn kernels in sand over the fire, and by, um, yeah, moving it together with the sand, it pops all the corn so you don't need oil or anything so that's a traditional way that they would prepare the popcorn without oil or any anything else yeah. it's really tasty <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah um your livelihood yeah either either most of my idea yeah tina here liba the push the covid keep a comment there's involved the idea that kind of a community fund ne idea name how who yeah betotasi yeah where is nehi didi Um, ni atau ajuda komuniti awal sendiri memang servis juga. Hanya yang ini saya ide yang saya serahu menghira tambah blue venture servis fokus lebih ya konservasi marina. Entah pun saya ide saya kami kontribusi aktiviti ada sida. Example, iha betotas saya mestablis semas homestay dah nampak. Entah pun kusi fundus nampak kami apa iba establis homestay ni. Sira sila fokus lepas lepas blue venture mai be. Sira fokus lepas lepas fundus komuniti atau ni. Komunitas ini ya betul tak sih kayak ya komunitas ini larang nih beli uzafal itu di bawah halo manajemen tu kan nih beli relasional hal servisu peskanya. The community fund program started during COVID, um, and it was connected with the homestay association that was established in Betotasi near Dili, and this is a saving and loan scheme which was um, created um, to for the community to. Um, direct some of those funds from that livelihood to back towards conservation and marine management. So um, Blue Ventures supported them with originally establishing the, uh, the program. And then um, instead of paying money back to the uh, back to Blue Ventures afterwards, they're able to use some of those funds um, straight uh, into the community fund um, that they can then use that how they decide as a community for conservation and, and natural resource management. And this is also something new that last. I mean, Tina here in Bami Halo, and they're gonna be safety the sea training. Um, they related to on Saturday, they were pescador sira. They were tamba. They were pescador barak. They were in Timor. Majority pescador, lost majority. Like a industry, like a industry. And then I'm going to do a fishing boat. Sira baluja that. Lau jam sing, lau jam sedang entang. Anu ini dia kat dalam halat trainement tu no. Kusi trainement tu dia nene am hitang a lot of feedback. Tambah melu risira mai liga hosira iha iha live lihutnya, iha managementnya, and then liliu how bel kontes story tu angane. Hanya sira balu representan tu si Bikeli. Maybe mana? Yeah. So this this program is about providing technical training to fishers, and. This is uh, CDU Media, <laughs> so if you do, we're just um, not finished yet, so you can hold off. Um, so, uh, yeah, the this is a training program for fishers um, who um, are small-scale fisheries operators in Timor Leste. Like, there's very few large-scale commercial um, fishing ventures in Timor Leste, and so most of them aren't using a lot of machines, a lot of technology. They're using small boats to go fishing, and so one of the areas that Blue Ventures is working in now is to provide some technical training to fishers for them to develop their activities further. Yeah. So, 
Alain de safety na basira tambah na ba aturu aturu fatim balu yai turista sira barak no ya karaka uja be local boat mabe hare ba ya safety point of view ne ma barak tau kat la uja sira ntaung dala turo sira nia boat ni sira uja be la halo alain de ba peska ma sira be la halo asa tourism room tourism activity room so so in this example um you can see a safety at sea training taking place on aturu island um the, these fishers are interested in using their boats, um, not just for fishing, but also for local tourism activities. And part of that um, means um, developing their safety procedures in order to do that. Um, and for example, a lot of fishers before, they might not have life jackets and different equipment like that on their boats. So um, the, this training, um, it started off as a safety at sea training about equipment and different procedures for safety. But in addition to that, it also included components of marine management, um, livelihoods and other things to take a more holistic approach. Yeah, and the last one, last one from here is um, the feedback that we got from the, the groups, uh, the, yeah, the fishermen, the, especially with the Bikeli, I just, uh, how to call it a conversation story. Um, before like be, uh, Blue Venture start here at Uru, uh, here Proxima Sound Service Ubalo Comunidade Bikeli at Halo Locally Marine Management. Halo Mampa Mintona, my be Taba Hareba Valor Service uh, Blue Venture Nian, say Comunidade Balu Seda Kakarakan at Halo Management, Amela Belo Brigat Halo, and Tang Activate Sida Management in La Halo. My be who see Activate Sida Ne, Tang Amelori Sira Nebema, who see Bikeli, Sira Nebe Ulu. Tambah sirup balu representan sirup balu nabe ulu pelaku ia halat tarabandu, anda sirup participa, anda amlori sirup bayi ia fati nabe halat tarabandu, ia ia turu ia fati nabe saiti dan arang haru ina sirup hari like the beautiful of like by the versi dari nabane ahuru ini botoh tu tambah sirup peska ia fati sirup nene antis tarabandu, they know that sedama akontes nene, and then after pinang hira liu no sirup mai fali fir program nene sirup mai sirup hari no sirup realize. And then sirah mak inisiatif awal ikon bida awal belu bencer atau halah proksima sama halu awal halu tarapan. And then sirah mak emana be agora kiri halu grupu organisasi ni komunitas de atau ami bela kuliah sirah di ia futuru atau halu tarapan dunia bela halu anesan halu anesan ia fatim lebih mesirah bahaya dengan experience dan dia tiri sirah ni konteks tu. Yeah, so ini nama kau highlight tu si ini sirahnya. So one of the one of the highlights of this program and an unexpected impact that came about because of this was that these fishers who come from a community called Big Heli, um, they, um, in the past, their community has been having conversations about implementing marine management, but um, it never came about because um, people couldn't agree on what they wanted to do. And um, the Blue Ventures way of um, involving communities in marine management means that we don't move forward unless the community is on board, we don't push uh, for anything. So really that leadership and drive to proceed with marine management has to come from the community. So when that conversation died down originally, Blue Ventures also um, didn't push for that to continue, but we still continue to work with fishers from that community. And so several of them came to participate in this training in safety at sea. And as part of this, um, they actually went um, swimming and snorkeling in a, a protected area um, called Tarabandu um, and at a site called Harawina. And on this reef in the past, they had fished there many times. So they'd seen what it looked like before, before the management was implemented. Um, and um, through going snorkeling and seeing the changes that had occurred there as part of this program and, and learning about what tourists see when they visit and swim in the protected area. Um, the fishers themselves actually started to, to see those huge changes in terms of the biodiversity, the corals, the fish, they commented on all of it and they were really like amazed um, by what they saw. And so they then went back to their community um, inspired to um, resurrect that conversation around marine management in their community. And they established a group um, to kind of continue that conversation and campaign for marine management in their community. In fact, several of these people before this training were against marine management and they didn't want the Tarabandu because obviously they lose fishing grounds and, you know, we can understand that perspective. But after attending this training, um, they, it started off just as a safety at sea training, but by the end, um, it became a lot more than that. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, I think all of the activity I already mentioned. So here is um, we can see again the map that um, 
uh, where is um, uh, so we can see the K here, uh, the Loi, and yeah. Um, I think Hane yeah. Makne. So um, through this map, you can see um, the different locations of the uh, projects which Daddy's explained today, um, and the orange are the ones that are new and going to be for the future. Um, actually, one thing I was supposed to mention, like me personally, I was supposed to mention, but I forgot, was that one of the things that um, this team is doing together with CDU, well, with me at CDU, is uh, talking about how we can measure the social impact of these programs. Um, and so that's one of the kind of orange things for the future is developing that area. Um, so we have a lot of ecological monitoring taking place already, and now we're looking at how can we monitor more about the social aspects as well, because as you've heard, that's a really big component of these programs. Thank you. <laughs>